Hi, welcome back to video number two. Again, this is Fox Triple Eight. And right now, we are going to go ahead and set up our scene. Uh, one folder I forgot to add. <laughs> Obviously, he's the one that says scenes. So right here, click on Make Project, Create Folder, and then Scenes. That's whoops, <laughs> typo. That's a misspell. <laughs> Well, yeah, we're going to need it later on, especially when we're going to do networking to switch between scenes and blah, 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 and so on and so forth. And then I, I can just go ahead and to save the scene, just press Ctrl S, go to the main project, then scenes, and then I'm just going to call it level 1. Ah, the heck with the spelling. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create order. And create a plane. If you click on the little cogwheel, oh, wow, well, okay, it's all zeroed out. Yeah. Sometimes it's not, sometimes it is. Uh, go ahead for the scale, and on the X and on the Z, we'll just make it for about 40 by 40. Uh, should be good. Then I click on the plane, just press F to frame it. Now, for moving around, what I'm doing, I'm, doing, I'm holding Alt, I'm using the three mouse clicks. So, left click to rotate, middle click to pan around and then right click to zoom in and out. Some people they like doing the whole right click and then WASD. Somewhat works. Then after you make this plane, just go ahead and then create a cube. Pretty much what we're doing right now to set this up, I'm actually going to make some walls. And then there you go. We want it to actually go through the plane just like that not on top of the plane. It just you'll understand in a second why I'm making it going through. Well like I said, yep, this is like an asteroids game. Let's go ahead and bring it all the way out there. I'm pressing F to frame it. So I can get my view around. And then once I do this make sure oh let's see. Make sure the zero is on reset. I try to make sure it's actually in the middle. There you go. There you go. Just go ahead, let it go through the plane, and make your stuff kind of big. It won't matter if the cubes are overlapping each other. Control D to duplicate, or Command D on Mac, I believe. <coughs> Control D one more time. Then let me put zero on the Z, and for the Y, is put ninety go right up here and then control D one more time and then right up here okay so now we got our little thing going on here one thing you can do right now uh, eventually the level is going to get like pretty cluttered up so you can actually use game objects as an empty folder so I'm going to click on one of them I mean create game object create empty and then click on it once because the double click doesn't work in here you just click on it once and then click again and then I'm just going to call it level stuff click on the four cubes and go ahead and bring it up right in there click on the plane and then I'm going to bring it to for now but this plane eventually we're going to do something with it later on uh, before I uh, start doing things around let me make sure my Z is that way Sorry for that. <laughs> Oops, I had to answer a call real quick. Okay, just go ahead. This plane right here, uh, we're going to eventually uh, have it just turned off. So, go inside where it says important models. We're going to make sure that the ship and then the asteroid is set up. So, I click on the ship where it says normals on the import settings. Just click on calculate. And then, where it says, and it, well, we don't have animations in here. So, where it says animations, you can just click on done import and then you just hit apply and then it's going to fix the normals a little bit we're going to do the same thing on the ship so on the ship go ahead don't worry about generate colliders or anything like that eventually this, this, I'm going to explain that in a reason normals just click on calculate and then animations don't import because we don't have any and there we go it looks a little better so for now we're going to go ahead and drag the ship out here and then I just press F to frame it and then the asteroid the size is actually pretty small if you drag it in. 
What you don't want to do is right now that I drag it in is resize it in here. That's what you don't want to do. Because sometimes when you instantiate something, it won't show that actual size. It might show way different. So delete another scene, go in here, and then put a different size on it. So if we're not going to put it 3 on the FBX import settings, then hit apply. That's when some people go like, how come my thing is resizing? How come it doesn't look right? That's what pretty much the reason is. I didn't like that size. I gotta make it pretty huge though. <laughs> so let's go ahead and make it 5. And then hit apply and then bring it in. That's perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna click on my plane. And then I'm gonna just turn off this right here. We don't need it for now. Eventually we are gonna do something with it. Well, for now we don't need it. Click on your ship. Make sure the Y is sitting on 0. And then the asteroid is sitting on 0 on the Y. So when you move it, only use this little blue arrow or the little red arrow to move it around. Okay, now in the next video, we're gonna start doing our coding, so I can t so I can we can start get this ship moving around, and then we're gonna mess around with the asteroid to get it moving around and be able to hit it and stuff. Okay, y'all have a nice day. Y'all take care.